Hello. Uh, I want to talk in this section about um, the whole process of arranging uh, these tunes, um, dance tunes in particular. How do we get from hearing something, hearing a recording of a band, say, and ending up with a, a solo fingerstyle arrangement? Um, so I'm going to use as an example a, a tune that I've taught uh, for Stefan, Chohi um, Towal in Irish, Will You Come Home With Me. This is a tune I heard uh, years ago uh, from the band Planksty, the, one of the, the most important bands in, in Irish music. The tune is this on my trusty phone. So you're listening to fiddle, Ilan Pipes, and I think concertina. I think Noel Hill is in there playing concertina. And then the accompaniment starts, which is oddly enough electric piano. And then everything else kicks in on the repeat of the tune here. So, let me just shut the boys up. So I first heard that as a kid, and it was on an album that uh, got played continuously. So I, I kind of absorbed the melody, kind of by osmosis. But I picked up the guitar at one point and flat picked it. lovely but it's not an arrangement I mean no one's gonna sit and listen to that uh, on its own I don't think probably not me anyway um, so I the next step would be to probably get rid of the flat pick and so I'm in standard tuning You'll now see why I don't use standard tuning very often. I, I just find it very difficult to get any kind of momentum behind the tune in, in that tuning. We're in the key of G, uh, so it's not a particularly horrendous key. But I, I, I can't really get the thing to flow in that tuning. So very quickly when I was learning, um, I tuned the bottom string down to D, just because I was listening to Planksty and the Bothy Band and the Chieftains, and each of those bands were centered around, uh, melodically, certainly Planksty and the Chieftains, that Ill and Pipes were front and center, and their drone is a D, so your cowboy D chord is kind of that, and there's a big don't play the bottom string, big red X on the bottom E string because, because it clashes. You can bring your thumb over, that gives you a, a third on the bottom. You can leave it out and just play, and then you have a fifth on the bottom. So I tune the bottom string down so you have the, the root note is on the bottom. So drop D tuning was what I started flat picking in, and I have a bunch of fingerstyle arrangements in this tuning as well, arrangements of dance tunes, but... Um, this tune doesn't work, <laughs> and I tried it. Um, so that's part of the process, is um, finding the right tuning, finding a tuning where that'll, the tune will just sit nicely. So it's in the key of G, which might to some people suggest open G tuning. Open G is not one of the ones I use. Dadgad, however, I use a lot. So let's skip the stage of trying to play it in 
dadgad in G without the capo. I didn't think that would work, and I didn't even try it. But uh, I did grab the capo. And... The melody itself is so comfortable in that position, in that tuning, that I, I just thought, yeah, there must be a, a reasonably approachable way of, of making a satisfactory arrangement. And there it is. That's the melody itself, and it just flows beautifully, like it does on pipes and fiddle and whatever else. On guitar, in this tuning, for me, it just sits beautifully there. And then the next stage, if you listen to that recording, there's the introduces moving bass lines, very beautiful. So I tried to um, introduce that as well. So that um, gave me a, a decent platform to try and figure out uh, a good way to play it. And eventually it became part of a set of tunes that were in the key of F. So I dropped the whole thing one whole tone, which gives you a little bit more room. And I, th I think on guitar it sits beautifully there. And one of the, the aspects of, of a successful arrangement for me is, is dynamics. So when I play the tune to begin with, there's no accompaniment or maybe just a simple drone. change the feel of it by introducing all this moving bass line thing. Um, so that's the basic process of how that arrangement came to be from listening to a recording uh, of some very, very fine traditional players to ending up in a, a non-standard tuning in a different key with a slightly different feel, but it's the same melody. Um, so one of the things I try to get across to students when they're learning particularly fingerstyle arrangements, is it's sometimes not hugely instructive to just dive head first into a finished piece of tablature. It's much more instructive to learn independently, learn the melody you're trying to arrange, because often that's what's involved. It's an arrangement of a melody and there are chords underneath it and there's a bass line moving underneath the chords, etc. It's not as instructive to just start learning the finished article. To me, it's, it's much better to, to absorb the melody itself, first of all, to know what it is you're arranging, to know what it is this is an arrangement of. Have that in your head, have it under your skin before um, you look at the, the finished product. Because learning the finished product, it's, it's great, but it doesn't, it doesn't let you into the process. So when you, when you see a piece of tablature, Try and tease out the melody itself and be able to play that independently. And then build up to it.
in putting that arrangement together, I would have played a very simple bass line to begin with before. Before going into that, that full walking bass line thing. So there are more instructive ways, I think, sometimes to, to learn the process of arranging than looking at finished arrangements. Um, so when you do come across a piece of music you want to learn, whether it is the tablet you're sitting in front of you, have a think about how that was put together and see if you can retrace the steps. Tease out the melody itself and get that happening as an independent thing before applying uh, all the dots and squiggles in front of you. And that, that might well illuminate more and it might give you some ideas that can apply to other pieces of music, pieces you, you may compose or pieces you're trying to arrange yourself. I hope there's some ideas there of, of use to you.